Hi everyone, I'm She. Welcome to Crafting in the Lion's Den. Today we're looking at putting wording into resin and when we make those words we're going to do it ourselves rather than using a foil insert this is a cool way to create like a three-dimensional effect um, within the resin piece itself the one that we're going to make is this one there look at that beauty um so the 3d effect i'm talking about is how to create those words inside of that resin piece um, I talk about this one. This is the same technique, except it's just a different colour. Oh, there we go. I just tapped. I just <laughs> I just tapped the tray <laughs> instead of tapping the screen to sort the light out. Oh, oh God. Oh, oh my days! What a bell marsh. I can't even try this. <laughs> this is the pink one. The same as this, <laughs> they're both using the same technique. And also like this, my spooky, spooky face Halloween. If you haven't seen the Demon Portal, portals, it's exactly the same concept as that, except when we use the clay, we're gonna be using it to create words um, and not like in this one, the little scully. So the, in the letters in these, in this piece, uh, these were also created by clay, just by using this technique, but putting the clay into a letter mold first. You know, the one that people use for key rings, things like that, just done that and then used it in here. So yes, I'll just be quiet now and let's go on with how to actually create it. Please, please hit that subscribe button, like, comment, share. See you next time, bye. Okay, the first thing you need is your clay. For this, I'm using monster clay. It's an oil-based clay, which means it can be melted down and reused over and over again, as it doesn't actually harden. So you wanna roll out your sausage and then grab your mold that you want to use this technique in. I've chosen this little pill tray mold. So I'm just creating the word that I want to write in this clay and putting it inside the mould just so that I know what it will look like and to make sure that the spacing and it sits well, etc. Once you are happy with it, then you can put your clay word to the side for now. And I'm happy with that. Yay! Okay, because I've done a tray, I've filled that rim in. If you're doing a flat piece, you don't need to fill in the rim. That sounds wrong. Anyway... Moving on, you're going to do a clear layer of resin and you're going to grab the cling film. So working from one end to the other to put it down onto the resin, this prevents massive air bubbles in it. So you do it slowly, pressing it down to the end. And when it's covered, you're going to grab your clay word and you're just going to push it back in reverse. That's very important into there and leave it to dry. Now that it is dry, you're going to remove the cling film and remove the clay. This part can get a little bit tricky because the resin will have hardened around the well word, which is why it's great to use clay for this um, rather than wire or anything else because the clay you can rip apart, you can scoop it out. So just spend some time. I needed to spend a lot of time scooping this out, but we'll skip that part and go straight into when it's all clear. So there we go. Cling film off and clay off. So just a note, it doesn't matter if all the cling film doesn't come off. It's no big deal at all because if it's stuck to the resin, it's stuck there and it's still going to take the effect. So don't worry about it. Don't panic. If it doesn't want to come off, leave it, let it live in there. It's all good. So take your metallic pigment. These are the ones that work the best. You can do it with Mika powders or whatever you like. I like, really, really like the effect from metallic powders. So I'm using this color shift purple and blue for the word love. You can see I've just loosely, messily dabbed that all over <laughs> there. No great care has gone into that. It's literally just to cover the entire thing to get this effect. You don't need to be worrying about exact I'm taking a smaller brush just to make sure that i'm getting right into those crevices because it's really important that you do fill the words where the clay were in the pigment otherwise it will just sort of be a um 
a little bubble. It will look like a bubble rather than a deliberate thing. So when you're happy with that, carry on with the rest of it. You can do it all in the same colour if you really wanted. Um, so this one, I'm using a blue-green shift pigment for the rest of it. But in um, the pink tray that I made, it was all one colour, the one that I showed you at the beginning. So yeah, it's entirely up to you how you want this to look when it's finished. Just choose your pigments and work with it. So both of these are the metallic uh, powder pigments. Once you are happy with that, you're going to grab your backing colour. So for this one, I'm using black. For the pink tray, I used pink. And you're just going to cover it completely. And I know it looks scary because you're like, oh my God, it's disappearing. Ah! But it's okay. It's okay, I promise. It's worth it. So just fill that right up to the edge. And then you're going to leave it to dry before demoulding. And the finished product will should look something like this there you go look at that you can just about see those different colors in there and it just looks beautiful okay if you like the video make sure you give it a thumbs up i hope you have enjoyed i'll see you next time bye